Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Naomi Amber. If you're new, what's good, what's poppin'? Make sure you hit that subscribe button. I know you don't know me yet, but trust me, when you do, you won't regret it. <laughs> and for anyone returning, thank you so much for coming back to my channel and checking out what I got going on. But today is going to be a sneaker collection video. Someone did comment under one of my old videos and asked me to do a, a sneaker collection and I'll insert the comment on the screen somewhere so y'all know I'm not lying. This was requested. I don't have a lot of sneakers, um, but I do have a little, a little, a little song song. So I'm kind of excited to do this video and I'll also insert some sneakers that I do plan on getting soon, which won't be in this video obviously because... What a money reside, what a money reside, what a money reside, what a money reside. I need the money to get those sneakers so um hopefully i can get them in my collection soon but i'll insert those as well and this video just won't be a regular old sneaker collection video i will show you guys how i have styled these sneakers in the past um because i do plan on doing a shoe styling series on my channel so this is basically episode one of all the sneakers that i have and over the course of this year i'll show you guys how i style these sneakers um if you guys want me to do a heels collection that's gonna be a lot but if y'all really do want it i could do it but this is just gonna be sneakers um so i'm really excited but let's stop chatting don't forget to subscribe and let's get right into this video. So one of the shoes in my collection are these converse lugged sneakers back when i was little like when i was in middle school i was obsessed with converses and i feel like now i have you'll see now i have definitely dived back into my middle school body and have resurrected the converse fiend in me because i have three pairs of black converses don't ask me why i don't know I don't know but they're just black and white regular black and white converse but they have this platform lugged section and I think these are a great alternative to my Dr. Martens um, because they still have that kind of grunge feel and I just got them so for me to have worn it as much as I have already is kind of like wow like you're kind of obsessed but they also have like the little converse um, all star thing in the, in the back and it's in black too and the strings are white and I don't have anything else like what else can I say about this I don't know. I'll show you guys how I styled this on this side. I actually just recently styled this in my last video. So you guys can definitely go check that out if you would like. Um, and I'm really excited to continue styling these for the rest of this year. I'm just going to go through the rest of my converses. But the next pair is another pair of black and white converses. Surprise, surprise. I actually do kind of want these in the gray color. And I also want them in the white color <laughs> i have a problem but listen i'm i feel like if i have to struggle with what kind of shoes i'm gonna wear with an outfit that means i need more shoes no okay whatever anyway <laughs> but there are the converse high run hike i don't know if that's the right name for it. i'll put the right name for it on the screen but this is what they look like and they have like the ridged bottom but i like them because and the reason why i got them is because they have like this brown accent in them and i think this is really really nice to like you know give some of your outfit a color like a pop of color i don't know i really like them and i've seen them styled a lot so i'll show you guys how i style them on the side i recently got these so i don't have many pictures of me styling these but if you follow me on my instagram or twitter you'll see how i style them in the future but i really really do like these and they have the same like ridged back in the back um but this is in black and it has the white um converse star i really do love these shoes and like i said i'm going to go back and i'm going to get the gray I'm going to get white. And the last pair of black Converse I have are the Comme des Garçons <laughs> black Converses. These also come in white, but I don't think I'm going to get the white ones because I already have the black ones. And they just have this red Comme des Garçons heart in on the sides of the shoe, both sides. And the sole, like the accent, this little part is cream. It's not white. I don't know if you guys can tell the difference because of the lighting, but... Can you guys tell that these soles are two different colors? Like this is more of a yellow cream color and then this is more of a white. This is definitely like a white and this is cream. So a lot of the ways that I've seen this shoe styled said 
I can't wear my Converse with my dress. This, that, yeah, this is that shoe um, that I've seen everyone style with like satin shirts. That's how I styled it, and I'll show you guys that on the side. Um, and with the dresses, I've just seen this styled very, very nicely, dressed up more than I've seen this shoe dressed down. So I really, really love these shoes, and yeah. Okay, so for the next shoes, I just have these. You know, what is the name of these? <laughs> these are the Nike Air Max Plus, okay? But here are the shoes, and I don't have any, well, I think I do, but I wanted some shoes that were more, like, athletic looking, that I could wear with sweat sets and track suits and, um, sports sets. So I got these, and they're all black, and I really wanted to get these customized because I've seen on Pinterest, like, they have, like, some with the gold Nike check. Um, but I couldn't find them and when I was in Foot Locker I saw these and I was like I know I want these so I just went ahead and got them um, But they're black and they have like little white Accents on them and then the sole has like a little bit of yellow that kind of peeks out sometimes in pictures so um, That's just something to know if that bothers you. It doesn't bother me <laughs> I wear these more for like sportier fits um, and I've seen them styled more with sportier fits so that is how I rock these bad boys so the next shoe which is probably my favorite shoe the most worn shoe that I have in my sneaker collection and something that I think everyone should have in their collection are these <laughs> if you do not have these if you have not seen these shoes in a sneaker collection then you're watching the wrong video I, I'm sorry like you're really watching you need to exit out of that video immediately because they should have these shoes in their collection I don't care what anyone says but these are just a staple like I really if I have to explain this shoe to you guys then there's a problem but they literally go with anything you can think of like if you think it's not gonna go with these shoes it probably will <laughs> just test it out try it trust me um but I got these back in the summer and this is like when I first like started getting into fashion and you know upgrading my wardrobe this is definitely where you should start in terms of getting a shoe like if you wanted to start building up your sneaker collection definitely would start here <laughs> um and I love air forces they're just so classic so timeless I remember having a pair of air forces when I was in high school and I am a college graduate now and here I am again <laughs> with air forces so like I said these are really really timeless and I don't see these going out of style anytime soon so the next shoes that I have are just another pair of air forces surprise surprise <laughs> but they are these cream Every time I show these on camera, I don't know if it's picking up the cream color. Go, <laughs> it's just these cream Air Forces, and they are so nice. They have like this little brown plastic Nike check, um, which I think is really unique and different. And the soles are black. And then also, I don't know what this is called, what this part of the shoe is called, but it has like this gold Air Force One. Um, lace thing and then the little tongue of the shoe has this gold air force one thing too this shoe is just very luxe to me like i feel like this is such a, a nice shoe and i feel like i have a lot of neutral tans and browns in my closet so this shoe really helps make those outfits pop so i really 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 like these um i didn't get these off of like the Foot Locker website i got these off of goat and i'll link all my shoes down below um but She's a fave. So the next shoe that I have is my last pair of Air Force Ones that I have in my sneaker collection and I adore these. Just like a little bit of a twist on the original Air Force Ones. The New York versus New York collection. I don't remember where I got these but like I said I'll link them down below and I'll try to find them for you guys. Um, I have socks in them wow what the shoes look like and actually they came with white laces and i'll show you guys the laces in a second like i said this is a new york versus new york collection so it has the new york versus new york i don't know if it'll show new york versus new york little i need to find the actual name for this when i find the actual name for it i'm gonna put it on the screen <laughs> um but this little shoelace thing and it didn't come with black laces it came with white laces um but i just got these black laces from journeys i'm sure you can get them off of amazon or the nike website but i just got some black laces to bring out the black in the shoe because i didn't think the white laces looked that good honestly um but it has the black nike check the new york versus new york on the side and then the air logo is in black which is different from the other two shoes that i showed you guys and the sole is black i just i love these because i really wanted the 
you guys know those Air Jordan ones that every like I don't put them on the screen y'all know the shoes but those are too expensive I thought this was a great secondary option in terms of having a black and white shoe let me show you guys what it came with here are the original laces and like I said it has the silver um this is the ag it just says Nike on them I don't know if you guys can tell it says Nike on them and then with the shoes they actually came with these cute little velcro they came with these cute little things that you could put on the tongue of the shoe and it just says different things like dykeman dykeman is a place in new york it says gersh i don't know can you guys see that gersh then it's, there's another one that says lincoln park so whenever i have like red in my outfit i'll put this on the tongue of the shoe um which i think is really cute tri-state area and they all came with two of them um obviously because you need to put one on each shoe um and then what's this one i don't know what this says but this is this one focus this is this one and then this one says uptown challenge and this one is in purple and then this one is i don't know what this says either but this one is a green one so if i had anything in my outfit that had like a pop of green i would wear these but currently Currently, it doesn't have anything on it. It just has the New York versus New York. But this is what it would look like with something on it. Oh. Velcro it on. And it's... That is so cool. Like, I really do like that little customizable. Like, this this makes the shoe a little bit more fun. So, that's why it's one of my faves in my collection. Um, but that is this shoe. And let's move on to the next one. So, the next shoes that I have are just my white Harachis. And I actually got these. I actually thrifted these. And I got them brand new for, like, I don't remember, like, $30 maybe? I don't know. I know a lot of people have mixed feelings about Harachis. But I like them. I think they're cute. And they're definitely that sporty look that you are trying to go for so i'll show you guys how i style these on the side this one is a little bit more of a challenge for me obviously like i just wear these with regular sports sets and track sets um but i don't find myself gravitating towards the shoe um i already have my air force ones which is like my everyday white shoe so i don't find myself grabbing these as often as you would think um and i also have these in black but I don't know where those are right now. So, and last but not least, I have these uh, Stan Smiths, these Adidas Stan Smiths. I actually have like regular Adidas, but they're so old and like worn out. Like I would have to, need, I would need a new pair. But I don't. I've graduated from <laughs> my um, original Adidas. I actually want these with the red. Um, with the red accent too um but this is just the one with the green accent and this looks so good with black dresses like i don't know what it is about these shoes and black dresses but just a chef's kiss honestly um but it's really not much to say about these my mom said these look like nurse shoes and honestly they kind of do um at first glance but when you dress them up <laughs> So that is it for all the sneakers in my sneaker collection. I do have other sneakers um, like my Vans and my Converse's, like my white Converse's that I don't typically wear anymore. Like they're old and like I said, I'm like, we, we loving it up a little bit. Um, but I will show you guys the shoes that I have, uh, I am plotting on, okay? I'm plotting on them. So when you see that video of how to style these shoes, just know y'all 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 were here first to hear it y'all heard it first so i want to get these shoes so these are the nike air force shadows and i want to get them in orange because i have my orange tail easy bag to go with it and i just i just know like when i got this bag when i got this bag i already had an idea for how i was going to style this bag but when i saw the air force shadows i was like oh I need those so I'm gonna get them and the <laughs> next shoe that I am plotting on are the Air Jordan Lowe's the red ones and the red and white ones I just feel like I need a red and white shoe in my collection because why not but that concludes the end of this video I hope you guys are looking forward to the rest of the styling series how I style these shoes um i gave you guys a little bit of a taste of how i styled them in this video but there's definitely more to come so definitely hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out <laughs> and i'll see you guys in my next video bye